there's always this notion of the credit crunch or we need more finance. No, there's even too much finance. What we have is not the right kind of finance for innovation. Innovation needs a patient, not impatient, long-term committed capital. And unfortunately, we don't have enough of that. So for example, the whole venture capital sector has become increasingly exit driven. They want the exit to happen either through an IPO or a buyout in three to five years. But the famous Death Valley stage of the innovation chain can even be 10 to 15 years. So what we really require is more, both public and private, but patient long-term capital. Second, by thinking of it always as a supply of finance problem, we've missed one of the key features, which is that we have also a demand for finance problem. There's actually not enough innovative companies even demanding finance. And realistically, most high growth innovative companies do find the finance they need. What we don't have is enough high growth innovative companies. And the question is why? And that's really because we don't have a proper system of innovation really supporting those kinds of companies. But that really changes the problem from the way it's usually positioned to just a supply of finance thinking of a big problem which then can be broken down into other problems, like lots of homework problems, through which you get these public-private partnerships, I think is very key. And sometimes when we fall back on this top sector approach, where you just label you know, four or five sectors which are you know, fundamental for a nation's competitiveness, that doesn't sort of do the trick. The private sector, of course, it's more natural. It will, if you want, get involved more downstream You know, after some of the highest risk is invested in, but they should also recognize that. So, you know, in terms of also the tax they put back into the system, should recognize that they have been relying on big public budgets to do the heavy lifting. I mentioned in the talk this problem of financialization where lots of private sector companies which are benefiting from these kind of, you know, public investments then are not reinvesting their profits back. There is record level hoarding across Europe also in the US, and there is increasing financialization. And that's a big problem. So in terms of the private sector, I would be perfectly happy if they still may become in downstream as long as the profits that are generated are reinvested back into R&D, human capital formation, then we get a more functional ecosystem.